уважаемые коллеги, добрый день, уважаемая аттеста... комиссия диссертационная. Session uh, for the procurement of the degree of a candidate of physical and mathematical sciences, uh, uh, specialty 01040 second and sphere physics, on the subject of the mechanism of interatomic interaction at the interface of titanium, calcium, phosphate coating. The first principle study open. According to the order uh, issued on the 7th of February 2019. Uh, number 962-1, myself, Professor Smirnov Bor Mikhail Barisovich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, uh, Professor of the uh, Condensed State Physics Department, was appointed Chairman of this dissertation board. Let me introduce my fellow board members. Smirnov Vladimir Mikhailovich, Doctor of Chemical Sciences, Professor of uh, Chemistry of uh, s Solid State, uh, Sergei Gordeev, Doctor of Technical Sciences, Central Scientific Research Institute of Materials, is absent oh. or for a good reason. Nesta Klon Michaela Legas, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, the Yoffa Institute. In distant mode, we have Annemie Bogerts with us, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences of University of Antwerp, Belgium. Uh, also in the remote mode, uh, we uh, have Dr. Nates Eric, our second uh, scientific uh, supervisor. First, let me emphasize that according to the federal law, number 127, uh, of the 3rd of August 1996 on science at the state scientific technical policy, the St. Petersburg State University has the right to award academic degrees independently. The corresponding order, number 6821-1, on the procedure for awarding the academic degrees at the St. Petersburg State University, and the research we are holding this session, which was issued on the 1st of September 2016, and after the order. In accordance with this order, the session of the dissertation board is duly constitute, constituted if at least two-thirds of the approved members of the board are uh, partici participating, but not less than four persons. Our dissertation board consists of five members. All of them are present, uh, including one member in rem uh, remote mode. So we have the necessary quorum. Let me set forth the uh, procedure of today's session with the total duration of no more than two hours. Item 1, the Chairman's brief report on the main content of the documents submitted by the candidates and their compliance with the established requirements. Answers to possible questions, five minutes. A brief presentation by the candidate for the degree outlining the key points of her study, 15 minutes. Questions to the candidates strictly related to her presentation and more than two minutes for each question and responses of the candidate. We don't have any external reviews. Speeches, this will be followed by speeches of the members of the dissertation board who will present their reviews, opinions, questions and suggestions to the candidate. No more than 10 minutes for each speaker. Then the chairman will present his review. Then the candidate will answer the questions and remarks of the members of the dissertation board, no more than 15 minutes. That will be followed by the open discussion. The attendees will briefly outline their attitudes and or specific questions and suggestions for the candidates strictly on the topic of the study, not more than five minutes for each speaker. To do this, all the speakers are kindly requested to put their names on the registration sheet and fully introduce themselves before speaking. That will be followed by the final answers of the candidate to the questions, no more than five minutes. 
speech of the scientific advisors, not more than three minutes each, a five-minute discussion before the open voting on awarding or not awarding the uh, academic degree to the candidate. For the time of this discussion of the board members, the broadcast shall be suspended. Open individual voting. The chairman of the station board shall count the votes and results shall be recorded in the minutes of the meeting. A decision on awarding or not awarding the uh, academic degree of St. Petersburg State University to the applicant. And the final word of the applicant, no more than two minutes. Before starting the official procedure, let me remind you to switch off your mobile phones and thank you for your understanding. Let me also inform you that uh, our meeting shall be recorded and broadcast online at St. Petersburg State University website, and the speeches are being simultaneously translated from Russian into English or from English into Russian as appropriate. Let's start with point one, the chairman's sa summary. Uh. The dissertation of Irina Yurivna uh, Grubova uh, for the procurement of the uh, uh, degree of candidate of physical mechanical sciences, the uh, uh, mechanism of interatomic interaction in the titanium calcium phosphate uh, interface uh, coating. The first principles was accepted for defense by the order of the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg State University issued on the 7th of February 2019, 963-1. Uh, uh, the dissertation board was appointed by the uh, order uh, of St. Petersburg State University Academic Secretary on the 7th of February 2019, order number 962-1. And uh, I have already introduced uh, the members to you, dear colleagues and guests. The candidate has submitted the following documents to the St. Petersburg State University Academic Secretary. An application to the rector, Professor Kropotchev, to accept the thesis for review and defense, submitted on the 19th of September, 2018. A review by the scientific advisor, Surmeni Roman Anatolovich, candidate of physical and mathematical sciences, director of the Scientific Research Institute of Physical, uh, physical Materials Studies and Composite Materials of the National Research uh, Polytechnical University of uh, Tomsk. Uh, review by the second uh, scientific supervisor, uh, Professor Eric, a list of 45 publications. Uh, describing the main academic results of the thesis, uh, 16 articles published in periodics including the international database and uh, a uh, certificate uh, on completing the uh, doctoral course uh, issued on the 30th of May, uh, issued by Tomsk Polytechnical University. Uh, which verifies that uh, Irina Grubova uh, from 1st of September 2012 until the 1st of September 2016 uh, completed the postgraduate course at uh, Tomsk Polytechnic University. Uh, 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 by the prorector for uh, Scientific and Research of Tom's Polytechnical University, Stepanov. An honors uh, diploma issued on 30th of June 2012, uh, issued by the National Research Tomsk Polytechnical University, which uh, verifies that uh, according to the State Attestation Commission of the 15th of June 2012, Group of Irina Yurevna was uh, awarded a degree of uh, Master's of uh, uh, Technique and Technology in Material Science and uh, Technology. Uh, the thesis in Russian, English as manuscript and and in the electronic form. The thesis has been formatted according to the requirements of the National State Standard 
printed on a multiplier with the identification of an output data. It should be noted that all the above listed documents comply with Article 12, Section 3, Thesis Presentation and Defense of the procedure for awarding the academic degrees at the St. Petersburg State University. And, and now let's uh, uh, let's uh, uh, have the uh, brief presentation of the candidate. Not more than 15 minutes, please. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Irina Grubova. And today I would like to introduce, uh, uh, outline my thesis, uh, mechanisms of interatomic interaction uh, at the interface of uh, titanium calcium phosphate codes. Uh, this wa uh, the work was executed uh, part of the um, uh, cooperation agreement between Tomsk uh, Polytechnic University and Antwerp University in Belgium. Uh, in more, with modern medical sciences, uh, development of new composites uh, is widely used. Uh, uh, the uh, decisive factor here is um, uh, there are many research groups working in this in this field. Uh, studying hydroxy hepatite coatings in Russia and abroad, uh, modal representations uh, describing atomic effectors uh, are still at the interface of the coating and the substrate are uh, s actually non-existent. Such theoretic studies with the computer modeling is important. Uh, because it provides valuable data not only on uh, composition and physical and mechanical properties, the electronic properties of different surfaces and interfaces, but also s connected with the, uh, relation, uh, with the development of the new uh, technology uh, and pr production of uh, material with desired properties. So the purpose of the aim of this is to establish the nature of the interaction of surfaces and study the physical mechanisms uh, of increasing adhesion at the interface of titanium ceramic coating on the basis of GE, depending on the uh, composition, structure, and relative location of the interacting uh, atoms of both uh, phases of the interface. To achieve this goal, it was necessary to solve the actual problems that are presented on this slide and will be uh, discussed in detail in my thesis. Uh, currently, the characteristics. of low dimensional systems which are difficult and or expensive to explore experimentally, thanks to the development of modern computer technology and methods for solving large systems of equations can be obtained with high accuracy in the calculation of the properties of substances from the first principles. Thus, in the math, this is the problem of l low adhesion of the biocompatible HA coating to the bioinert surface of the interosseous implant based on titanium is com uh, conceded by means of periodic calculations in the license package VASP. Uh, this package uh, is a computer system for computer simulation of multi-electron of atomic scales used for numerical solution of problems of quantum mechanical molecular dynamics and calculation related to the electronic structure. The s uh, next slide shows us on the basis of this uh, software package. This slide, next slide shows the main parameters used in, in modeling in the VASP package and, and uh, lists a number of other uh, packages which have also been studied, uh, uh, such as a visualization in Avesta. construction of the interface between hydroxyapatite and uh, titanium includes several stages. The, in our work, we've, uh, we saw the unicell of, uh, in the course of, um, like you can see in figure one, uh, 
So we uh, calculated the main the main state, which you see figure two, and we of course are modeling the following properties of uh, Gitter Safe Plan itself, uh, where you see that data we obtained uh, agrees well with the uh, experimental results, which can be uh, verified by uh, which verifies uh, accuracy of our method. Uh, further, additional calculations were carried out. Most stable uh, hydroxyapatite uh, uh, hexagonal structure, uh, which you can see in uh, Figure Three. Further, uh, additional calculations were carried out on the this is a thin amorphous layer, and to bring uh, the. Um, uh, our investigation, to, to continue our investigation, our research, we decided uh, to use reexpress uh, package. And the uh, in the next slide, you can see what the surface looked like uh, figures in figure four. Uh, we know from uh, that uh, uh, that is up to the 95 nanometers is formed two most uh, popular, uh, and that's and rutile. Rutile is the more thermally stable phase of the uh, titanium dioxide. That is why in our study, we used rutile. Uh, and the scheme is uh, seen in uh, uh, figure five. And table two, uh, the data in Table 2 um, agree well with other results. For Rutil, the most stable uh, 110, which uh, has um, uh, affects uh, chemical uh, activity. So that's why we use this uh, and use it in, use it in ADF uh, package. Then we had to identify the optimal number of layers to be used. So we made a relative curve, which you can see in figure seven, on number of uh, layers, uh, which shows that the optimal, optimal number of layers is four, which, uh, so we used this number in the further, in our further research to optimize and preserve uh, com computer time uh, in our study. Uh, the uh, model, a supercell model, uh, you can see in uh, Figure Eight. Uh, then, uh, uh, then we used exosphere, uh, uh, used unit cell, supercell. Uh, uh, the choice was you know, based on experimental data. So we know that uh, a thin layer of amorphous uh, titanium dioxide, up to 10 nanometers, is formed. Uh, in addition to that, numerous studies uh, show that uh, on the surface of rutile, uh, oxygen vacancies play a major role, which are formed in the first and second atomic layers. Uh, we selected the most uh, common oxygen vaca uh, vacations, uh, bridge uh, uh, vacancies, which you can see in figure 9, uh, a supercell uh, figure. The energy of uh, forming uh, oxygen vacancies is uh, summarized in uh, Table 3. So the uh, following um, statement, uh, formation of oxygen vacancies type defects on the surface, and in the uh, near surface of uh, uh, Rutil 110, uh, represent a one of six equivalent oxygenators, uh, energetically more preferable on the, uh, on the surface than in the region of the second atomic layer. In total, in my thesis, uh, six interface models with the docks were built in the work uh, table four to identify possible atomic structures of the air interface. The, uh, the full interaction between the two surfaces was first checked with uh, uh, to formula three, summarized in uh, presented in table five. The more negative. And the uh, which it can be seen that only bridge vacancies have an impact on the improvement of the interfacial adhesion. Yet, 
uh, best interaction uh, occurs only in the case of interface models with amorphous surfaces. It should uh, also be noted that uh, so we uh, calculate the partial density of states uh, presented in uh, figure 10. Uh, PO4 uh, contribute most or titanium on the uh, at the interface. Also, we observed that new uh, main states uh, at the interface uh, PM, uh, minus uh, 14.5 minus 12 uh, minus 12.6 uh, electron volts which overlap with states of titanium items, which means uh, signifies possible uh, bond formation. Also, we observe uh, p orbital calcium influences the interaction at the interface, uh, uh, which is much lower. Uh, which plus a weak interaction between calcium and other atoms of the interface. Next, uh, we visualized uh, distribution of charge density of valence electrons according to the formula four, with different, which shows that uh, distribution of happens in the first two. Uh, first two uh, atomic layers. So we were able to identify mechanism of uh, chemical bonds. So we were able to the uh, much less uh, electronic charge, so lower charge, lower charge. See, uh, uh, so we uh, see the uh, electron accumulation area. Uh, in addition to a rutile supercell, so we can prove uh, that at the border of the, uh, the this big difference between so the same nature it can be observed, same interaction. Uh, of uh, charge redistribution we observe in case of titanium atoms and oxygen so co covalent link is formed so we may s uh, prove that uh, titanium atoms uh, are, uh, act as acceptors uh, Charge we also calculated a uh, charge transfer, so we found that uh, rutile becomes more ne gets more negatively charged. So it becomes more gets more negative charge uh, in all the cases, in all cases. Uh, atomic structure is, is shown in the next slide, uh, which enabled us. Uh, which uh, enabled us uh, to determine the nature and qu quantity of, uh, uh, bo of bonds. Absorption of uh, rutile bridged vacancies leads to the formation of two weak bonds and two calcium uh, oxygen bonds uh, two co uh, at, the, uh, at the interface. In, in case of amorphous structures, we see three, uh, one strong bond, uh, TO bond. Thus, uh, the following statement can be submitted for defense. The mechanism of interatomic interactions and interface between hydroxyapatite and uh, rutile, uh, different structures, uh, stoichiometry and non-stoichiometry, uh, indicate that the work of adhesion is uh, much higher 
and perfect rutile 110 and defective rutile 110 surfaces with uh, oxygen vacancies, as well as proves that the uh, contact in interface surface at least as it starts. Uh, the power and concentration of H decreases in the next row. This is uh, presented in the next slide. Uh, numerous studies uh, and experiments prove that anionic and cationic substitutions in uh, structure can affect not only thermal stability and surface reactivity, biological and bacterial uh, properties, but also adhesion strength of adhesion at the interface, uh, hydroxide and titanium. That's why uh, many studies, uh, many researchers, uh, many studies are studying uh, cation anion replacements, substitutions in the study. Uh, one of the most interesting uh, anion rep uh, substitutes is uh, replacement of uh, phosphate groups with uh, uh, silicium anions, uh, which is an, uh, an important element. Uh, for healthy tissue. That's why uh, we uh, decided to study uh, replacement of uh, anion group. Ten data, good agreement, experimental dose. You see in uh, uh, table 12, uh, we s uh, chose one interface uh, which proved to be most efficient, and that is why. And to, uh, so we conducted according to scheme 13. So we produced uh, 24 interfaces, uh, measured adhesion, and uh, so we found interface with the best adhesion purposes. And then we used this interface for uh, detailed calculations and analysis. Uh, charge distribution for this interface is presented in figure 14. So which um, uh, the uh, uh, nature of distribution is uh, very similar. Uh, the two covalent uh, bo uh, bonds are formed. So that is uh, that way. Uh, um, the another s uh, same is permitted for defense. The background nature of influence of substitution of phosphate groups in the silicon in, in the structure of hydroxide uh, chemical bonding and adhesion at the interface shows that introduction of biocompatible silica silicon ions into the crystal grid of uh, hydroxyapatite uh, leads to an increase in adhesion work by 30 percent due increase in the number of covalent that oxygen links of the uh, at the interface then we measured how uh, substitution uh, influences tensile strength uh, the um, uh, see in uh, figure 15 uh, 15 and 16 uh, formulas and calculations. Uh, formulas we use for calculation. Uh, we use formulas 5 and 6 uh, to calculate um, uh, conventional tensile strength. Uh, so the our calculations prove that in case of substitution, uh, we observe after uh, uh, steady growth of uh, which uh, with the values of theoretical tensile strength equal by uh, 5.3 uh, 5 angstrom. In case of uh, pure hydroxyapatite, we see steady growth, which reaches, uh, reaches theoretical uh, maximum strength, uh, 3.2 angstrom, uh, which equals uh, 46 megapascal. Uh, we also uh, calculated the UN model, and what uh, should be mentioned should be mentioned that in case of substitution, we observe adhesion character of separation of the coating from the surface. In case of uh, pure hydroxyapatite, we see cohesion nature of uh, separation of the coating from the substrate. Uh, length of the ties, uh, we analyze the changes in the left atomic bonds. Uh, found that uh, initially tensile stress mainly affects the interface adhesion, but later the displacement of one point say Anstrom, the resulting for both interfaces, the resulting stresses lead to deformation of the boundaries of the uh, of the interface in both cases. 
is an increase in atomic lengths of the bonds at the interface. Thus, the following uh, statement submitted for defense when describing the case of the tensile deformation of the studied systems of interface uh, using a model of a calculated ID and tensile strength based on the first principles, how we found that the replacement of phosphate groups in the structure of uh, 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 Heteroceptor silicate it was least to increase in the value of ide uh, ideal tensile strength uh, by 1.86 times. Uh, the key findings are presented in the next slide, uh, which we presented earlier in our presentation. I would like to uh, express sincere gratitude to, to my uh, scientific supervisor, uh, Professor Sumernev and Professor Nays for invaluable help and assistance. I would also like to uh, support uh, Maria Sermeneva, Dr. Dabagmanesh, and Dr. Yusupov for valuable discussions and cooperations. A special Sermen Dr. Sermeneva of Tomsk University, Dr. Dabagmanesh, and Dr. Yusupov of, of uh, and special thanks to Dr. Hach uh, for, of Plasman Group. Uh, who, for his continuous help, uh, patience, and encouragement uh, in the, the course of my studies. Uh, th this study would not be possible without uh, financial support. Uh, thank you for your understanding. Thank you for your attention. Uh, thank you, uh, Ms. Grubova. Any questions to this, to the presentation? Any questions uh, related to the presentation? Okay, let me ask a question. When optimizing structure, hydroxyapatite structure, uh, did you intend to, op to optimize the atom position? Uh, optimization of uh, uh, atom position. Uh, you optimized uh, the cell parameters, but yet in each for each value for each cell value, did you optimize uh, atom shift? Yes, we used. Yes, we used uh, in VASP code when we use geometric uh, values. Uh, we set free movement for all the atom atoms, only two uh, lower layers. In case of rutile supercell, all uh, other atoms, I'm satisfied with the answer. Thank you. My second question, uh, can you please go back to slide where you show relations of uh, energy, surface energy? Uh, here we go. Uh, here we see four, see uh, four points in your graph, and then there's uh, then you assess the surface energy. Which mathematical method did you use to evaluate surface energy uh, using these four points? Uh, well, really, I uh, thank you for this question. It's a very important question. Uh, I, to be honest, I forgot. I remember that, well, what happened uh, when modeling uh, with DFT modeling, it's very important to optimize uh, computer graphs. If we use uh, too many layers, that will make the process much more complicated and much more time consuming. That is why uh, we looked at the difference between the points. So if there, if there is any difference in value, if the difference is more uh, exceeds 10%, then uh, that uh, should be used to identify, uh, uh, according to the scale, uh, correlating um, correlated to uh, amorphous hydroxyapatite, uh, we selected four layers. Uh, we could have used uh, five layers. Six layers would be too complicated, would take too long. Uh, yet uh, convergence tests have not been completed. 
Uh, so did you use any calculations or uh, did you do it manually? So what was the mathematical, which mathematical procedure did you use? Uh, they, we used mean uh, values. And the last, uh, in the name of your uh, interface between titanium and hydroxyapatite coating, though in, the, in your thesis, uh, you only deal with uh, titanium oxide. Why uh, does your thesis have this title? Wouldn't it be more accurate to say uh, uh, interface of uh, titanium and uh, uh, titanium oxide and hydroxyapatite. I use this title to bring the understanding clo uh, to get better understand of what we uh, are trying, what we are trying to achieve. In the end, we want to obtain fundamental knowledge of what happens at the interface between titanium substrate, uh, and we use different alloys in our experiments and hydroxyapatite coating. Uh, but for this modeling, we have to optimize this structure. So uh, the interface uh, we uh, was selected uh, on the basis of uh, experimental data. As I mentioned already, we have amorphous hydroxyapatite and uh, amorph uh, titan amorphous titanium uh, dioxide, uh, which can be validated by uh, PAM only. That is why I tried to take an experimental object and make a correlation for a theoretical study. Uh, and when uh, I was thinking on the, uh, of, about the title of my thesis, I was thinking mo uh, about uh, connecting uh, theory to practice. Uh, is my answer OK? Yes, I'm satisfied with your answer. I have a question, please. The last, am I right in thinking? A real solid object. Uh, all there's always an oxide uh, coating on top of a real object uh, because it's exposed to oxygen, water, and uh, don't don't would be better to say that you wanted to create a real object. Is, here you have a different problem. Uh, you give the thickness of this uh, dioxide layer. Maybe here uh, there is some difficulty with this. Uh, several angstrom, several uh, dozens angstrom uh, dioxide on the surface. So here you have. This is actually uh, a plus or an, an advantage. Uh, so uh, did you? Uh, take into consideration how thick this uh, dioxide layer can actually be. Yes, that's exactly how it happened in reality. We have dioxide. Uh, we, uh, before this thesis, I was working on exactly on this. I was uh, studying exactly this phenomena. And uh, I knew that w what we have so I was trying to uh, create a model of how uh, a surface can be treated for better adhesion and to uh, observe the influence, direct influence, uh, uh, disregarding uh, coating uh, re uh, surface relief and other. And may I ask one more question, please? I am a doctor of chemical sciences. Uh, I have another question. When modeling, uh, you set certain limits. And in my review, uh, 
are you, did you take uh, real chemical bonds into consideration, uh, covalent? Covalent. Uh, um, Weak bonds. I will uh, talk about it later when I present my review, and then maybe you can answer this question right now. So w the question is: What I what is the question? What interaction was taken into consideration? We, we took into consideration chemical uh, consideration. We agree that covalent bonds exist, but we didn't. We d did not take them into consideration. So that's the most important. De degree, otherwise, uh, well, coating will be detached. All that will get detached all the time. I conducted research in this, uh, in this, in my case, but uh, this is very inaccurate. Uh, there is still, we still have a, um, there's still much discu discussion is still going on, on which method should be used. So I found that uh, uh, it contributes uh, very little to this interaction. Uh, so the contribution is very small. It's uh, 0 0.22 joule. I'd like to um, uh, uh, say that uh, now we uh, now I also have a question. Is it a bit technical? When the surface, when you optimize the surface, uh, did you take uh, reconstruction into consideration? I believe you did, but uh, where uh, where d does this data come from? This is a known reconstruction of the surface, uh, and we used uh, the structure and EDF code. We know atomic positions uh, and we have a, the opportunity to do it in uh, on a computer, the digital. So we so you we used a specific reconstruction model uh, so that it's uh, according to well, uh, known data uh, so we recreated an exact surface, and when we uh, explored the influence of oxygen vacancies, uh, one thing we uh, researchers used different models. Uh, for example, uh, we had four layers, and our model is one point uh, one uh, four point three. So here the differ the differences are explained by this, uh, but it's important to take into consideration the nature. Uh, for example, our uh, correlation is well, matches that um, formation of uh, bridge bonds uh, corresponds to well, other works, other studies. Uh, so correlation here is very important. Uh, not num it should not be assessed numerically. Correlation is more important than numerical. Uh, I hope that uh, uh, Dr. Bogertz is with us right now. Dr. Bogertz, do you have any questions on uh, 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 yeah, this group of us presentation? Yeah, it's more uh, a general question uh, about the presentation and the thesis in general. Can you explain why you have chosen to use DFT, which is computationally expensive, instead of using a classical force field? Uh, I'll speak in Russian. Should I speak uh, Russian or English? Uh, should I answer in English or in Russian? Uh, I chose uh, DFT theory because, in our case, uh, for structures that we studied, there are no and uh, in the REX package that we use is no uh, correct force field. This was the main reason. This was the main problem why we didn't use uh, well the classical method which was accessible. That's it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And uh, can I ask another question? Yes, you can. Yeah, thank okay. You. Um, to what extent does the limited size of your simulated structures 
affect the comparison with experiments? So is the simulation of looking at scales very different from the experiments? Can, shall I repeat? Yes, yes, sorry, I, um, I uh, okay. Yeah, so to what extent does the limited size of the simulated structures uh -huh. affect the comparison with experiments? Uh, okay. uh, yeah. So we, in our experiments, Uh, s uh, size of titanium dioxide uh, wa uh, was could vary. It depended on uh, con uh, conditions under which coating was applied. Uh, for, was only three nanometers in our model. It was only three nanometers. Uh, did I uh, understand your question? Yeah. So how can this be? Uh, compared with experiment, because experimentally... Experimental. It could be... Uh, it could be uh, compared uh, to our experiments, because we are looking, we, are st we started the interface, so we know uh, what happens at the interface. Uh, that is why we uh, modeled these structures. Uh, these, they can be compared with experimental data and uh, theoretically obtained data. Uh, only qualitative, com can make only qualitative comparison, not quantitative comparison. And if the question is how the comparison was made, uh, titanium uh, uh, oxidized and a complex structure is formed with several interfaces. So we selected uh, interface uh, between the two phases uh, of the implant uh, on which uh, hydroxyapatite coating is applied. Okay, thank you. Can I ask a last question? You're welcome. Okay. Um, so, charge transfer at the interface is calculated using the Bader approach, as you described uh, in your thesis at page 203. Would another charge determination scheme yield qualitatively the same results, you think, or not? Yes, we used this method uh, for integral charge transfer to calculate in the integral char charge transfer. Uh, I see the immediate correlation and why this happens. In case of bridge vacancies, we see a lower charge transfer. Uh, we, it is, we match it to the nature of chemical bonds formed. I see this very clearly uh, and, uh, in the next slide. Uh, covalent uh, bonds are formed. And in other cases, uh, calcium, or uh, so the nature of transfer is different. Otherwise, we can only make comparative analysis. It's hard to say exactly uh, so much uh, substance is transferred, but qualitative uh, comparison we can make between uh, the interfaces. Uh, the other methods I did not I did not use uh, the other methods uh, okay. okay thank you Dr. Bogertz Dr. Bogertz are you satisfied with the answers I'm satisfied with the answers uh, Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, since there are no external reviews uh, and we asked all our questions uh, and got all the answers, uh, let's uh, uh, hear the speeches of the board members. Uh, 
shall I read the uh, Professor Smirnov? Please read your review. Uh, I shall uh, only focus on the please focus on the call only on the comments and the final paragraph of your review. I'd like to say that the thesis, uh, I liked the thesis, and I have some minor remarks uh, uh, which I uh, would like to repeat. Uh, it's not quite obvious uh, how the nature of uh, chemical bonds, uh, uh, chemical nature, so so this is my remark. It does not affect the uh, overall high impression of the thesis. And uh, uh, I was very impressed with the thesis. And I think that uh, Ms. Grubova's thesis uh, meets the requirements and the applicant should be awarded the degree of candidate of physical mathematical sciences, uh, condensed states physics. So here is my uh, is my review. I think that uh, Ms. Grubova answered my question. I understood her answer, and I'm fully satisfied with her answer. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Smirno, thank you. Because the second member of uh, Dr. Go Sergei Godev is absent today for a good reason, I will uh, read out his review. The, uh, generally, the review is very positive. Uh, the author emphasizes relevance of the study and correct choice of methods and uh, importance of the study results. But as always, it contains some questions and remarks. Uh, please pay attention. Uh, from the thesis is not clear if the calculations were compared to experimental results, especially for uh, hydroxyapatite containing sil silica. I will read all out all the five questions, uh, try to uh, remember the questions. What, in uh, the author's opinion, uh, determines the osteoconductive, osteoinductive uh, properties of uh, a hydroxyapatite coating? Uh, fragment size and their morphology or surface chemistry? Uh, question three. Uh, speaking of um, uh, morphology surface on adhesion, how uh, surface morphology in uh, page 85 is not clear uh, on which linear scale of uh, morphological peculiarities the author uh, refers to. Is uh, question four. It's uh, not clear why the author used such configuration of valent electrons for phosphorus. Uh, pages 65 and 80a. Uh, disregarding D orbital phosphorus. Uh, if d orbitals are important, how that is justified for a pentavalent phosphorus a atom? And the last question, uh, figure 4.6 on page 96. The description of the figure uh, has, there is a mistake. Uh, mechanical tension, for some reason, is called strength hardness. Uh, how does the author explain uh, a dramatic decrease of mechanical tensile uh, in case of certain deformations? Let's start with uh, experimental results for uh, silica containing hydroxyapatite. In my thesis, I uh, compare uh, experimental results in mine findings and 
On page 90, I make a comparison of the results, uh, cohesion and adhesion, uh, detachment mechanisms, and I refer to experimental data. I make reference to experimental data uh, which shows similar nature. That is why I I I think I can give you some examples where I refer to uh, I make such comparisons even for silica containing and uh, because uh, Dr. Uh, Gardiev is still with us so we agree uh, with your we accept your answer we think you are right speaking of osteoconductive and osteoinductive properties of hydroxyapatite coatings uh, what determines these properties? This is a very good question, uh, which calls for discussion. In reality, uh, all the factors I already listed, uh, surface chemistry, surface relief, uh, morphology. Uh, so what uh, drugs appetite uh, has a low uh, or osteoconductive uh, potential, uh, hydroxyapatite itself. So, but this is open and uh, non-osteoinductive. So, these uh, properties, uh, for, uh, osteoinductive uh, potential, can grow on uh, surface of titan on a titanium substrate. Uh, can be e increased uh, by changing relief. Uh, roughness of the uh, substrate uh, by making the substrate more rough, rougher. But uh, all the above mentioned factors contribute uh, both osteoconductive and osteoinductive properties. Uh, thank you, uh, Irina Yurivna. Uh, let's make uh, you, your presentation is very good. Let's take question three linear scale of the morphological peculiarities. Our colleague, uh, it was not clear to our colleague which linear scale uh, you uh, refer to when, uh, on page 85. In our case, it was uh, uh, atomic scale. If, so how many monolayers, nano uh, size atoms, about 1.3 nanometers. Okay. Uh, the uh, phosphorus d orbitals. Why you did not take them into? How is that uh, for uh, a pentavalent? Uh, we use all the potential uh, with the the uh, the orbitals in. Uh, VASP, and that also we used uh, works of previous researchers, uh, which give good comparison. I'm satisfied with your answer. I know that even for vanadium, the orbitals play a very minor uh, role and uh, not normally not taken into account. And the last question, on page 96, uh, figure 4.6, uh, there's a mistake in the description. Uh, yes, should I think the question, how do you explain uh, l l dramatic decrease of mechanical tensile uh, in case of some deformations? Our graph really uh, in our, uh, I believe it's explained because can be a certain, so we used uh, optimized structures several times, and maybe there's this explained uh, change, but uh, also. I think uh, this uh, uh, this question, this point, is being discussed. If it is uh, incorrect, and if uh, and why exactly it happens, thank you. And uh, a review by Professor Vasilev uh, is very positive. Says that despite those minor uh, remarks, 
and inaccuracies, the thesis is a complete and valuable study and uh, deserves uh, to be, uh, but this should be avoided. Okay, now I, uh, there am uh, I, uh, there's a formal introduction, my thesis has a formal introduction, so I'll go straight. Uh, maybe I, sh I, I have, uh, uh, maybe we should go straight to the answers. I have six remarks, uh, which are not very important, not that important. Uh, but basically, I just wanted to show that I have read your thesis. My first uh, remark is that uh, in the DFT method, there is uh, a mistake uh, describe various uh, uh, exchange uh, correlation potential. Page 55, hybrid function uh, referred to as GGA as well as local and as, uh, uh, described as a separate class. Uh, thank you for your remark. I totally agree. I uh, completely agree with your remark. Uh, second remark is on uh, page 68. You see a curve. There's a curve. There's a parabolic looking curve. At the same time, uh, the, it, the, the uh, text reads that uh, so uh, complete system energy uh, calculated uh, with the DFT method uh, becomes constant. Uh, yes, it was also my mistake. Uh, thank you for your uh, yes. Uh, thank you. The, uh, uh, there is uh, a difference. There is a mistake, discrepancy between the text. Uh, uh, my uh, third comment. Uh, I will. Uh, uh, the graphics which explain the page on page seventy one says that uh, uh, convergence of surface in, uh, energy uh, is reached. Uh, the number of uh, atomic layers 4.5 yet uh, the graph you see the number of layers is 6 and full convergence has not been achieved so you have already answered this question and I understood uh, but maybe uh, maybe you should uh, pay more attention uh, when preparing your pre to this when preparing your presentation uh, yes with convergence uh, my fourth remark is uh, Maybe this is uh, the most important one. Uh, the the uh, this um, has all details. Uh, introduction to FDFT method. Yet uh, some calculations were made with the uh, molecular dynamics method using a REXFF method uh, mentioned several times uh, for uh, uh, more uh, accuracy. Would be good to uh, e explain the method of this. Uh, uh, explain this method as well in more detail. Uh, Anime asked uh, uh, same question because we don't have a full potential for our structures. For example, for amorphization, we use potential uh, uh, reax field. But uh, accuracy of this potential is uh, not sufficient for our, for uh, so in any ways, we would need to um, make uh, the comparison. And we wouldn't be able to obtain accurate results, so we know that uh, here the, uh, the uh, we don't have the accurate instruments. There's no, we don't have the uh, accurate potential. Uh, so you should have said that in your thesis. And my uh, number, uh, my comment number five on page 83 uh, says that uh, uh, adhesion at the interface uh, can be uh, compared to the integral charge transfer. Uh, in my opinion, it's not possible to uh, figure out which method was used. Uh, maybe this method is a standard for quantum chemistry, but in, uh, the, in the anyways, in this case, it's impossible to um, uh, see how this method is, is applicable in material studies. Uh, yes, uh, this is not a standard method. Uh, this question was also asked by enemy. And uh, so we, it can be used in uh, VASP code and other software, other packages uh, for modeling uh, uh, integral tra charge transfer. So I should have, I should have mentioned this code because I just used commands 
already available in the, this software and uh, said very briefly what they mean by calculations on page 97 says that the destruction of uh, alpha silicon hydroxyapatite surface uh, has uh, adhesion nature but in case of pure hydroxyapatite we see cohesion nature uh, uh, and it would be uh, uh, it would be good to give a more detailed explanation of uh, what is shown in the picture, we see uh, how atom uh, the, uh, leaves the surface, and we make a comparison uh, with complex analysis and uh, atomic structure. We see uh, uh, the nature of detachment, and it is also visible in the picture. And maybe because the structure was not uh, exactly amorphous, and may maybe that is why. So this not, doesn't happen exactly at the interface, but I, I agree that uh, uh, maybe uh, we should have uh, summarized this. In a thank you. Uh, I also have some uh, remarks on the execution, but these are very minor remarks. Uh, all these remarks do not affect the overall high uh, opinion of the thesis. I was very impressed uh, by the thesis. Uh, uh, maybe not so much the text, but anyways, I m think it meets the main requirements set forth by the order, etc. And I think that uh, Dr. Uh, Ms. Grubova deserves being awarded the degree of, do of candidate of physical mechanical sciences. Uh, thank you, Dr. Nestaklon. Now time has come uh, to uh, hear Dr. Borgerts. Uh. Yeah. So uh, I understand that I don't need to read my entire report, but just uh, uh, the overall recommendation. Uh, is that right? Y yes. Okay. So, yeah, uh, in general, I found the thesis very interesting, and the research findings are of great scientific interest, especially because they provide a better understanding of the microscopic nature of the interatomic interactions and the formation mechanisms of uh, um, the coatings of titanium thermite coatings, uh, the approach used here to calculate the ideal tensile strength and can also be applied uh, to other low dimensional systems. Uh, moreover, the results also have practical applications for interpretation of specialized mechanical tests of tin coatings formed on uh, metal substrates. Um, I don't have specific comments. The only uh, comment I had, I was a bit surprised because uh, it was mentioned that the results of the PhD thesis have been presented at many conferences and workshops and have led to 45 scientific papers, it was mentioned. But yeah, I almost cannot imagine <laughs> that this was all the result of a single thesis. So I guess it represents the wider framework of this research, which is not all carried out by Ms. Grubova. So it would be nice to indicate which papers are specifically the result of her work. And then furthermore, it was mentioned that these 45 uh, papers include three papers in journals recommended by the Higher Attestation Commission of Russia. So it would be useful also to list these papers and explain also what makes these journals of higher value than other journals um, indexed in Scopus or Web of Science databases. So that was my my concern and, and, and question for which I would like to, to have some clarification. Uh, thank you for your comment. I, uh, number 45, uh, that's how many papers uh, we published while I was a, a doctoral student. So, of course, uh, not all 45 papers uh, um, and uh, well include papers where I, which I co-authored with other researchers. And they include uh, theses uh, presented at conferences. And 
uh, articles uh, published in peer-reviewed journals and uh, well, articles, uh, publications which are immediately connected with the content. These are two articles published uh, in Scopus. And the uh, number of theses, uh, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I don't remember exactly, but thank you for this comment. I accept it. In English, I, um, in the, my, the, uh, the English sentence is not correct. Okay. Thank you. Are you satisfied with uh, Ms. Grubova's answer? Yes, I'm satisfied. Да, я yeah, да. I want to add that. Uh, я бы хотела добавить. Uh, I can state that this PhD thesis meets the requirements. Что данная диссертация соответствует всем требованиям и что кандидат заслуживает присуждения степени доктора физико-математических наук. And the final review is my review. I read this thesis carefully. I think it was very interesting. It's close to it's closely uh, quite close to my personal uh, my, uh, research sphere. I will not read the e entire review. Uh, mostly uh, give positive op opinion, positive remarks. The only drawback. And the main drawback of the thesis, uh, which uh, um, got in the way, uh, there are many misspellings and uh, mistakes in the Russian text. Uh, in some cases, I could understand uh, only some sentences. I could understand only when I looked at the English text. I understand that the paper was the thesis was first uh, written in English, and then uh, quickly maybe uh, translated into English by into Russian by a computer. So. Uh, I think the Russian text uh, should uh, you should pay more attention to the Russian text. Apart from that, uh, my uh, opinion is positive. Thank you for this comment. Uh, you agree? You accept, uh, do you accept my comment? Uh, my remark? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. Now, uh, uh, well, dear attendees, uh, we don't have many attendees today, but maybe you have uh, uh, any comments? Would you like to say something now? Uh, okay. Okay, now I will give the floor to the scientific supervisors. We have two scientific supervisors, one Russian speaking and one, uh, one Belgian. Uh, scientific supervisor who should who shall sh who, who shall speak first let me introduce uh, please introduce yourself uh, hello, good afternoon uh, I'm Sir Ma director of center research center of Tomsk Polytechnic University I've known uh, Miss Grubova for a long time, more than 10 years. She was a student, an undergraduate student, a doctoral student, and uh, so she started uh, with biocompatible coatings, uh, and her interest in this field determined the sphere of her PhD research. Uh, uh, she is, uh, she's done lots of experimental research, and this paper, this thesis, uh, is one of the th one of the first uh, theoretical studies uh, dedicated to what happens at the interface and uh, molecular interaction at the instrument. So it's the first principles study. When I was a, a doctoral student myself, I read uh, Dr. Bogart's and, and uh, Dr. Nate's articles, and I was so pleased. So I wanted, uh, I, I, I dreamt of working with the, those re researchers, and uh, through uh, Dr. Grubova's uh, effort, finally I succeeded to do this. This, I think that uh, Dr. Grubova, uh, Ms. Grubova's uh, thesis. Uh, 
is uh, very high quality and she deserves uh, being awarded. Now let me give the floor to the second uh, scientific supervisor, Dr. N Professor Nates, Belgium. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. So my name is Erik Nates from the University of Antwerp, research group Plasmat. Um, it is, uh, I'm really proud to, uh, to be present online uh, at this uh, defense because I think that Ms. Grubova has shown through the years that uh, she's a very capable researcher. And I must say that it has not always been easy. Um, Ms. Grubova has uh, come to Antwerp, University of Antwerp, many times. And in the beginning, it was sometimes difficult to, to get the code working. Uh, to get some scientific results, but she um, she never gave up and she always continued to, to strive for as good results as possible. And um, second, she always tried to couple these uh, theoretical calculations back to experimental uh, results, and I think she did a really good job. Um, second, it must perhaps also be said that um, this joint collaboration uh, was an, on the administrative level sometimes a bit of a struggle to get all the regulations uh, to be followed. Uh, also there, um, Ms. Grubova never gave up and she, she made sure that all regulations could be followed. So um, I am, I'm very happy with the results. I think uh, Ms. Grubova did uh, a very good job and I think that uh, she should be awarded the degree. Uh, thank you, Dr. Professor Nates. We wish you lots of uh, good students from Russia. Thank you. Uh, okay, we came to the most important part of our session. Uh, we heard all the reviews, we asked all the questions, we got all the answers, we heard uh, comments of the uh, academic super scientific supervisors. We have all the reason, uh, all the information we need to decide if uh, Ms. Grubova deserves being awarded the degree of uh, candidate of physical mathematical sciences. Now I'm uh, requesting uh, to suspend broadcasting and uh, give us some time to discuss this uh, issue.
uh, thus uh, dear colleagues dear guests uh, let me uh, announce that out of four participating board members all four voted for and nobody voted against and nobody abstained uh, the decision on awarding the academic degree uh, okay we have to vote again now in public uh, Dr. Smirnov, my opinion, the applicant deserves uh, been awarded uh, the, the candidate's degree. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot uh, ask Professor Gordev. Uh, then uh, Dr. Nestaklon, I uh, think the applicant deserves being awarded a degree. Uh, Dr. Anime Bogertz, what is your opinion? Can you say uh, yes again, please? Yes, I vote for. The young, young Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I'm not in this. They didn't include me as a member of the dissertation board. I would like to vote for awarding uh, to Ms. Grubova the uh, degree of candidate physical uh, mathematical sciences now once again uh, following the procedure dear colleagues uh, let me announce that out of four members of the board participating in the meetings uh, voted for four uh, persons nobody voted against nobody abstained the decision on awarding the academic degree of the doctor of physical and mathematical sciences Specialty 010407 to uh, f uh, condensed state physics to group of uh, Irina Yurivna has been passed. Now I'm giving the floor to the uh, applicant for the, her final word. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, dear board members, uh, for taking part in this discussion. Thank you for reading my thesis. Uh, this is very encouraging. I uh, became, I got a little bit upset. I thought that nobody will uh, be interested, and I'm so happy uh, that my thesis is being defended at St. Petersburg State University. Thank you uh, for organizing this session. I would like to thank my uh, scientific supervisors who supported me, encouraged me, always, uh, always uh, said the good things uh, and persuaded me that uh, everything will work out in the end. Thank you, uh, dear friends, colleagues, uh, and all the guests, all the colleagues who helped me emotionally and uh, uh, technically. And it was uh, thank you for your kind words. Thank you, everybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our session is closed. Thank you, everybody, for your participation, especially a big thanks to our Belgian colleagues. Uh, let's stop online broadcasting. Thank you.